if we go up here to file preferences yeah here's my preferences now let me just try and get this all fitting in so you can see this okay there's the loop range these are the vertical bar markers separating bars and these smaller lines in between are the beat markers and we're working with a 4-4 um, time signature here so if we go into appearance over here on the preferences tab right and this is your project window area you can change the work area brightness that's the whiteness of this background hit apply and it gets duller the whole thing yeah turn up the brightness and it, this all gets sharper yeah okay so let's tone it down a bit now uh, the cycle intensity that's this light blue area that covers the whole area in the arrange page of the cycle the loop cycle left to right range yeah you can change that intensity its darkness or lightness I'll push it up and hit apply it gets way darker turn it down I can make it really light yeah um, you have got vertical grid level one two and three intensities now vertical grid level level one is the is the line the vertical line that marks the actual bars so I can turn that down and these l vertical lines that mark the beginning of bar 3, the beginning of bar 4 become very light. I can put them back up to make them stronger. Now the subdivisions inside a bar, which is vertical grid at level 2, can be changed in intensity. If I change them they get lighter there you can see. Or I can make them much stronger, like that. Yeah. And then your subdivision beats, these little at the moment set to sixteenths. Yeah, because the quantize up here is set to 16th, but it defaults to that anyway. I can turn that right down like that, and they almost disappear, or turn them up again how I want them. So that is um, just some quick stuff to do with the preferences in terms of the display area here and how the the the, um, the grid can be changed in terms of its uh, contrast and intensity and stuff. Okay, so hit apply. And OK, and that's that set. OK, some more things I want to show you now about this arrange area, uh, the grid, is how the uh, bar markers and the uh, quantize and um, the snap and everything here works. OK, so let's, make, let's create a, a blank MIDI track, an empty MIDI track. So in this um, column here, which is the track header column, right click. And this is where you input a track. I, I tend to do it by right clicking like that. Yeah. Um, so you can add an audio track, a folder track, we'll come to that later in the series. An effects channel track, we'll come to that later. But for now, add a MIDI track. Okay, slight delay because of the screen grab software there. Okay. Now you can drag the height of the MIDI track up and down like that, or by the uh, mouse over the separator bar between the arrange area and the track header column here you can drag this out and like that and, and the components on the track header auto arrange themselves according to how you've got your track header if it's wide they stack up at the top and as you make it narrow they stack vertically like that and um, as well as dragging up and down like this if you hold down uh, sh control and press the down arrow on the keyboard let's say that you're you've opened your track header and it's at the sort of standard height if you hold down control and press the down arrow it jumps to full height yeah um, and then you can use the up button to make it go back up again holding down control if you hold down alt and use the down arrow key you can make it drop down one little bit at a time and back up again yeah okay so there's our track header okay now let's just check out this area here the grid and this snap and quantize area here. Okay, now this is the snap on off button, this blue one here. Okay, if it's off, there is no snap. Now I'll get the pencil tool here. Right, you see that? I, I, this is my toolbox here for the different editing tools for the mouse. Or I can right click anywhere, anywhere on here, on here, or on the back, oh, sorry, on the arrange area and um, I can choose the pencil there and I'm going to draw in a MIDI part okay now at the moment 
Uh, well, I'll just show you what happens when I draw it in. It starts off with a little tiny 16th block, and as I hold down the left mouse and drag it out, it gets bigger or smaller, and it's doing it in 16th steps. See how it moves just just the 16th, just one of these little vertical dividers at a time, yeah? If I now right click and then select the arrow, I can drag that out and in the, the rear of the part, or I can drag the front of the part out and in, or I can move the whole block like this, but it moves in increments of 16th. And that's because the snap is on, yeah? And um, the snap setting is set to grid, which means the snap will follow whatever the setting is for the grid, vertical grid here. And this is set to use quantize. This means that the snap on the grid area is, is taking its snap from the quantize, which is set to 16th. If I change that to quarter beats and drag the part around, it jumps in quarter notes yeah, in any direction. And I can drag the front out in quarter note. Uh, extensions like make it wider by a quarter note or less wide by a quarter note and I can drag the rear by a quarter note resolution okay if I set this to half beat same thing half a beat at a time you can move it half a beat at a time but no no more than that no finer resolution than that if I set this snap so that it's um, not using the quantize but it's set to bar then the blocks move a whole bar at a time and it ignores the snap resolution here okay see whole bars same thing I can drag the front out but a whole bar at a time I can drag the rear out but a whole bar at a time okay um, so uh, if I set this to beat we're in 4-4 resolution down here so it'll still ignore the quantize and it'll work at a beat at a time quarter note beat, quarter note beat, quarter note beat, like that, or move the whole block a quarter note beat. Okay, and that's how the snap here works with the beat and the bar uh, grid resolution. So, if you leave it on bar, you're moving things at a bar at a time like that. Okay, if I just choose the rubber by right clicking, like that, or I could have chose the rubber up here like that, yeah. Uh, I'll go now to draw in a new part, and with this set to bar, as soon as I click the mouse, anywhere near a bar marker, like 3 or 2 or 1 or 4, it'll draw in a whole bar just by clicking. Click a whole bar, right? Okay, and choose the rubber again, rub that out. If I set this to beat and choose the pencil, it'll put in a quarter beat. Okay, choose the rubber again and rub it out, choose the pencil again. If I click and hold down with the left and drag out, I can drag the part as I create it longer or smaller if I keep holding down at the point when I go to first input the, the block. But again, because it's set to beat, it's moving in quarter beats only. And there's your new part. Rub it out, choose the pencil again. If I set this to use quantize, and the quantize, for example, in this instance is eights, let's say I change it to eights, Again, if I click, it'll create an eighth part. Just click once with the left mouse, it'll create an eighth part, starting at the nearest eighth division of any bar, where, wherever the pencil happens to be. If I rub that out, I'll do that again with the pencil. This time I'll hold down the left mouse and drag, and I can drag the part out as I'm creating it, but again, it's an eighth at a time because the resolution here is set to eighths use quantize eighths okay so I'm going to choose the arrow tool now yeah. I could have right clicked like this and choose the arrow tool remember and drag that back and again because the resolution of the snap is set to use quantize and it's set to eighths I can only drag it an eighth at a time so that's how your quantize works in terms of snapping to the grid now there's a couple of extra things that the uh, quantize can do you've got grid which means it just snaps to the grid Everything that you drag and create and drag in terms of wider, oh, sorry, wider and, and all that snaps to grid. So it snaps to the grid settings here, whatever they happen to be, by using these two drop downs here. But there are other things it can do. 